Hello everyone, I'm back. It's gone through those games. Um, so yeah, I've been gone for a little bit. I kind of, um, it's the nearest boat. Um, dealing with allergies, um, just doing random stuff, recording some horror stuff as you've all seen. But I did want to get back to Power Wash because they did an update and I've like, I'm severely behind, as you all know. And I want to catch up. Power Wash is my like pet project. Okay, it's a good project. I just really enjoy this game. Really, it's honestly what it is. So, finding a good excuse to play this game is always just on the top of my head. I hope you guys are doing good. I am severely dealing with allergies. It's the best part of, you know, this part of the year. It's being in a perpetual state of, like, kinda sick. And, like, I'm a multiple sneezer, so, like, it's never the one sneeze. It's always, like, five in a row, people always look at me like, hey, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, my heart just stops making my sneeze, so, you know. I don't know if that's actually a thing, I just thought about it. Um, but here we are, back cleaning the mayor's boat this time, it looks like, with his cat on the front of it. This cat that refuses to get clean, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that part. What does it say? Magnificus. That is a boat name if I've ever heard one. But on the plus side, it looks like it's not that bad of a job. So that's good at least. I was worried that it would be like a very heavy job to do. But it looks like it's pretty simple to just sprain it down. I am trying to... I want to get the thing done, though. This part. I just don't know what I'm missing on it. Oh, well, there's like these little weird bits that I don't know how I'm going to really reach. Let's get up here. Because I assume it's in the hat. In the weird crevices or whatever. I'm like hitting tab. Okay. So yeah, it's in the hat, In the as I said, in the crevices, but I'm going to have a hard time reaching. Okay. And the fact that my ladder is only gonna get but so close to this thing means I'm gonna be missing it. Okay, there we go. How bad is the roof? Not that bad. So I think you know what? Let's just start from the roof. I I, I always talk about doing it that way because it's smarter. There are cat footprints up here, which leads me to believe he let his cat walk up here. If I find I'm not allowed on the property, you know, before I had to wash his house before from, like, outside of the fence, but I guess I'm cleaning his boat, it's okay now. The standards are obviously changed. Oh, Jesus, stuff. I'm over here, like, using the wrong extension, because I'm, like, right in front of those things. I don't need to use the far-off extension. I have slowly been trying to cow like tackle my backlog. I've been playing more Dead Cells. I finally beat like the boss there, and I was like, "Oh, this is really good." I was kind of like messing up before. I, I still mess up now, but it was a uh, not fully like devoting enough time to like kind of understand some of the core mechanics and stuff. Not like I not that I understand how the upgrade system works a lot better. I still die because I'm like trying to be greedy and like upgrade stuff like, carry souls over where I shouldn't be, but really solid game. Like, just got the Castlevania update, I haven't tried that yet, because I haven't tried to get the DLCs, because I have, like, I was struggling to beat the main game, and I, when I buy DLC for a game, I was beating the story for it, but now that I have beaten it, I'm like, maybe I should, because I'm a big Castlevania fan. Metro mainly the Metroidvania ones, like Symphony of the Night, that started me into my Castlevania journey. I did like um, the PS3 one, Lord of Shadows, although I didn't play the whole set from that thing. I started, I think, the sequel to it that also in the PS3, not the, not the Game Boy, not the DS one, but the other one, and I was just kind of like, Stealth Sector is Dracula, don't like it. Like, I don't know, I could have been like, discounting a good game, but from what I've heard, I didn't miss much on that one. 
I know the first Lord of Shadows game kind of copied a lot of other game styles, like God of War, Sh um, Shadow of the Colossus stuff, but I felt that it did it in a good enough way where I enjoyed it, and the story was interesting enough. I'm missing something on this canopy, and I want to get it done. I'm just going to assume maybe it's like, as we're getting the sides, we'll get it? Oh, ladder. I fell. Okay. I almost assume it's something like that's bleeding over because it looks like I'm just missing anything directly up there. So we'll get this part and start moving. The boat does not seem that bad, luckily, as I said before. It's nothing crazy. I also want to check out that Advanced Wars remaster thing. So I, I know I just like wanted to try Advanced Wars when I had like a Game Boy Advance, but I never got the chance to, really. But I was like, eh, I'll wait, because I'm not in a rush. I haven't played it too so long. <laughs> There's no reason to rush to play it now. That said, I have a backlog to get through. And then I can like start worrying about other games, especially games that have been out for like however long, how many decades now that I could have played before. I do feel that uh, Nintendo is very much locking in on the remaster and port era right now. I can't say Nintendo. I'd, I'd say, like, gaming companies in general right now. A couple teams are doing that. And some are good, some are bad, but, uh, you know. I do understand the people that kind of get frustrated because they're like, I want more new IPs and interesting games. Because, like, I mean, if you didn't have that, you wouldn't get something, like, as weird as Pot Rush Simulator. And, I mean, weird as a net positive here. Because I like this game. But, like, yeah. I think this is definitely one of those, like, it's one of those, like, yeah. As long as, like, a healthy string of stuff in the market, it's okay. But, like, I could see having a lot of remakes coming back again just making things feel a bit stale. It does get a new a new generation's eyes onto the franchises that they might not have tried, because some of those games did not age well, but some of the remasters, they don't even, like, touch up much or anything. Which is either a plus or a minus, kind of on who you are. You know, some people are bothered with 7 Remake not being turn-based. I'm okay with turn-based games, but I also am on the understanding that most people do not enjoy turn-based games. It is a, I would say, very niche um, genre right now. So, understanding that, you'd have to also understand that if they're going to remake a game and like make it more of a standardized approach or a newer approach, it does make sense to like change a lot of those core details. As long as it has like the overall vision of what the game is, it's fine. I mean, heck, they, even with Crisis Core, they kind of went away from turn-based anyway. It was a weird hybrid system in it, kind of. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see a core problem with it. Rumor has it he's following the water to some billionaire guy running an illicit mining ring. Interesting. I, I just spaced, and I guess it's like when we skip cutscenes, and like... You then find out you're doing some really wild stuff. Can't be true, can it? And it is related to the missing cats? Are the is he making the cats do the mining? I don't be that guy, but I have cats. They're terrible at mining. Like, I'm not speaking from experience here, I'm just speaking, you know, from the fact that I've seen how cats work at the case. It's very lackluster, honestly. Right. Let's get the rest of this inner cabin thing done. I think it's like the only job we have ready to go right now. I think it's before like um some of the episodes got a little messy because of my recording software being funky with the audio. So there's a gap. I apologize, but uh 
can't go back in time, and I'm not going back to the treehouse again. That was too much work. I would be very sad to have to go back and, like, redo that thing. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. Window frame. What, what is that? Door frame? What am I missing on the door frame? Well, this whole side, I guess. Still? Okay, I see. There we go. Okay, so... Okay, I really... I'm tired of falling. Let's magic this over to me. Put this up. I'm like stuck. Okay, there we go. I really wish I could just drop the ladder. Because it does become a little annoying when you're trying to like move around and you have to like actively put it to one of the set magnet spots. Okay. Let's swap over to green. Yeah, green's gonna do a good enough job here, I think. This. Is that just a wall? Okay, look. Okay, as I was swapping over, it just did it. Okay. See, we're almost done with the top part of the deck, and then it's just like the bottom of the ship we gotta do. And any fine tuning, because I know I've definitely missed stuff. You do your best to get everything, but you know. I will have to say, I do like that they throw in jobs like this, because this is like intricate, but it's way smaller detail than a lot of the other stuff, so like it mixes it up so you're not like stuck looking at something for too long. You can like quickly jump to a job that's like not as crazy. And I guess also get lore about the mayor being part of a weird illegal mining thing that's happening and funneling the state's money. Well, the funneling the state's water to the mining. They pressure washing the mines? I feel like that means there's someone encroaching on my territory. Now I'm invested in the story because someone's trying to steal my job as a power washer. Unless I am the person that's, you know, running that illegal mining corporation. And then I think that that person is not completely in the right. We should just leave them alone. Let them do their mining. But only if it's me. Possibly. Uh, so... Almost done with this top part. Okay. I probably have to go back and touch up all the metal parts, because I don't think I've heard a single thing from them yet. Besides these ones just now. So that... Is not a good sign. And I fell again. Okay, there we go. Let's get this inner cabin. It's like a very tight quarter to clean in, so it makes it a little harder. The worst thing is it only starts happening once I finally split the town. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry that the, all the bad things started happening is not after you left. Wish you were here to see it? Or partake, I guess? Although, hey, Muss and Grumble, the desert dig I'm working on is amazing. You should come visit. Uh, unless there's something to wash there, I don't think I'm going to be there. If you can find something for me to wash in the desert, yes, I will definitely go. As long as you, you know, get me a good access of water. I'm a very hard time cleaning in the middle of a desert. Yeah, the inside of this is gonna suck. Okay, uh... Let's get the rest of this pole. Or I guess as much of it as we can. It's hard to tell some of the parts that are just the wood grain, and which parts are the dirt. 
because they're kind of just blending into me now. So I'm just like, yeah, this is all the same. I have a couple other random games set up for the channel, so a couple of roguelikes, uh, another Oregon, I believe. And if people want, I'll go back to play some more alternative watch or other what do you call it, anomaly like games. Observation duty types. Or was it be observation duty like? Is that would that be the terminology now? It is interesting to me, like, when people complain about, like, the Metroidvania or roguelike terminology. But it's, like, it, it happens because it's just, like, it's just the easiest way of describing those things. But I can understand how it becomes a little annoying to hear it. Especially, like, the... Technically speaking, I think it's, like, not accurate fully, but I don't know how to explain it. But I'm like, eh, whatever. I like terminology. It means I immediately get to know what I'm looking for. It does get a little tiring when you hear like soul everything's a souls like or whatever. But it it does make sense when you think about the fact that some games do they're literally trying to copy that format, which isn't a bad thing in my opinion. I think copying is fine as long as you're still You're still like different enough from the original source material that like you like you're still telling an interesting story, have interesting gameplay. Like I would argue Blasphemous is very much of a Metroidvania Souls-like if you want to be that way. Sorry, my phone is going off. Um, but I also would argue that Blasphemous is a pretty solid game. I would suggest if you like hard games, because it is a hard game, but it is rather interesting. I really enjoyed playing through that. So through the circle one. And now with the announcement of Blasphemous 2, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to have to go check that out too. Um, I feel like we're missing a lot of crap here. Like, this stuff is just, like, not wanting to come off. Okay, it looks like it's just me not running the thing slow enough. Although I am tempted to just get the spray out and just hit it. I just don't like using it on stuff like this where it's, uh, not one uniform thing everywhere. Because if I can just use metal on, like, a big old metal object, I feel better. Like, the buddy's going to a better spot for it. Yeah, it looks like I just need to not be lazy. Or cut corners, I should say. Let's clean up these seats. And there's still something on this. I can probably get it from this angle. Don't fall. Yep, there it is. Okay, so let's just get the rest of this inner side. And then we've got to the outside of the boat, and we're set. I think we just get everything we can from this angle, and then we move to the other side. We're probably to go inside and get the bottom parts. Because I'm going to assume there's a lot of stuff that's just, like, sitting there. Oh, look at this. I'm looking at it. And that. And fall off the boat. Okay. And climb back up see this crap. The fact that the canopy is still there means we've like missed some, some enough there that it's going to be a pain. Same with the stupid pole. I have to figure out what I'm missing from it and then go back in and hit it. Okay. go. I felt very inspired to go through a couple games I was like stuck in on. Because I'm watching like, like play games on them. And I'm like, you know, I'm gonna give it another shot. Like Slay the Spire, I used to have a really hard time like getting through that game. And then after watching this YouTuber, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give it another shot. Take some of the things he said to heart. And I was like, you know what, I really am enjoying this game. It's just, I was just looking at it. Like, Sam Dead Souls. I don't really watch it people play it, but I was like, let me just look up a tip video. This is like the smallest silly thing that you don't think about. That can like really help you. Especially hearing someone like playing a game for a while, you're like, oh yeah, you know, I could see how I would think this thing is advantageous when it's not. Or I could see something that doesn't seem advantageous, and it is. It's kind of why like certain 
metas develop because people realize, hey, there's like an optimal way to do a lot of this stuff, and there are suboptimal ways that the game is trying to trick you into thinking, yeah, this way is the way to go, and it's not really. It's not necessarily like, oh, the game's like bad or trying to trick you fully, but it's more of a. Just like the way it's set up, you just wouldn't know to like think, hey, I'm actually over underthinking something that could possibly help me finish my run. Let's get this thing. There we go. Um, and now we do the bottom and hope that that puts us in the final percent. Because I don't know what we're missing at this point. What? Did I just get that window? Oh, that's... That means I've missed crap. Because I didn't even realize I missed the window. Uh, let's go with the short extension. That should help us at least get some of this. By the way, Dirt Finder, you may find new people asking questions over the coming days, months, and years. Oh, this is the mayor talking to me about his uh, illicit activities. <laughs> Just tell them that you don't know where I went, only that I went by car. Um, okay. In interesting. I I'm gonna... It's weird that you think people would ask me about all this, and that I wouldn't just mention the fact that, like, I already have it in the books that I've been washing your car. I mean, your boat. Like, it's very much detailed. So I think they'll understand that, uh, the mayor has a boat. The boat is no longer around. Maybe the mayor took his boat out. I don't know what illicit things you're trying to do, Mr. Mayor, but, uh, I really wish you would tell me about them. I feel like telling me about them is the easiest way of getting caught. Like, you're kind of self-snitching at this point. So let's get the rest of this. Oh. Thankfully, we don't have to hold clean the trail that's pulling the dang boat, because that would suck. Okay. I didn't realize I got the repeller. That was hard what the ding was. Okay. Alright, I'm hoping after finishing the bottom that that puts in the final three. But we're at 88% clean. So I, I'm going to think maybe the big percent is the bottom of the boat. Because there is an awful lot of crap here. The keel. The keel is still somehow dirty. Okay. Well, yes, it is. Okay. There we go. I'm actually missing a lot more than I thought. It's interesting that it counts the boat as being mainly plastic. I don't know if that's true or not. I feel like it might be a decent amount of metal. I'm not sure how a, what a boat's composition would be. If it would actually be a form of like heavy plastic or tough plastic. I've never fully thought about that. I guess that maybe makes sense? I don't know. I'm not a boat person. I've only been on a boat a few times in my life and I didn't enjoy- well, not that I didn't enjoy them, I was just like scared of my mind both times, or all the times. I am like, um, uh, I don't know how to swim fully. I can semi know, but not enough where I'm like, yeah, dump me in the ocean. My fear isn't even like the drowning part, it's the- I get that integral fear when like seaweed touches my leg, much less if I- if some random thing in the ocean will touch my leg or something. I- I don't know. Okay, so we're missing stuff. We're at 99%. Okay. Let's see the list. Cabin walls. We're missing two walls. Not this one. Not this one. I fell again. Let's grab the ladder. Ah, this one. I think I just saw the dirt, actually. Wait. There we go. That's one cabin wall. So let's grab the next. Okay. Not this one. No, wait, this one. There we go. Okay, cabin walls are clean. Canopy trim. Canopy trim is clean. Okay. Control panel. That'd be in the front. Uh, well, the steering wheel is definitely dirty.
I'm going to assume that's the control panel. Yep, there we go. I'm not sure what I'm missing on the steering wheel. I'm just kind of spraying it indiscriminately. There we go. Uh, seat? Okay. They're right in front of it, so we can just get that. Easy. Uh, deck wall and rudder. Is the deck the bottom? No. Okay, well, isn't... I thought I cleaned it. Isn't this the rudder? Yes. I thought I cleaned it. No? Maybe? Okay. Let's just get it from this angle. There we go. Okay, so deck wall. So... I feel like I'm going to feel silly. Because I don't know boat parts like that. What, what count is the deck wall? Oh, in here. Okay. So... This one? No? Yes. There we go. Okay. So the next job is a monster truck. So we'll do that next episode. I'm curious to see how it looks. Um, let's see this monster truck. It is a cat monster truck. Okay. That is... <laughs> I gotta say... Interesting. Any, okay. Some prized donuts have poured concrete all over it. Jeez, look at this thing. Okay, this looks kind of fun, actually. That's a lot of just stuff on What color is this cat originally? Orange or yellow. Okay. Well, next episode we will take a shot at cleaning up this um, monster cat truck. Uh, but thanks again for checking me out, and if you like it, please come back for more. See ya.